Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up your weighted gradebook in Canvas. So um, this is a course that was transferred over from uh, Moodle into Canvas, and I need to set up um, the uh, gradebook because as I'm going through and I'm going to be creating my course, I need to have any assignments go to the correct category because when you create an assignment or you have an assignment that you've imported, you need to make sure that it goes to the right category. Um, so how you do that is you go to assignments, okay? Um, it's not really in the gradebook, it's in the assignments. So in the assignments, this actually shows, I, right now I've got assignments and the imported assignment. So when it transferred over, it just put a bunch of stuff over, but there's not really these are just assignments that are imported, but they're not really in a group. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create a group. So what groups am I going to create? Well, I'm going to look at my syllabus. And so for this class, um, here's the breakdown. So attendance is 10%, quizzes, assignment 30, and so on and so on. So, okay, attendance 10%. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a group. So I'm just going to plus group, and I'm going to call this attendance. Okay. And I'm going to hit save. And where is it? Ah, see, it's down there. Okay, that's fine, but I created it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and just go ahead and create the rest of the groups based on this rubric. Okay, so I went ahead and I created my groups. Okay, so I've got attendance, quizzes and assignments, writing project one, writing project two, writing project three, and the creative presentations. And that matches up with what I have here, attendance, quizzes, writing project one, two, and three, and then the creative presentations. However, I have not set up my weighting yet. Okay, so I've got these different weights I need to do here. So how do I do that? Okay, so the next step is to go to the top here and click on our three favorite dots, and we're going to go to assignment group weight. All right, and we're going to click on the little weight, great, uh, weight file grade based on assignment groups. Oh, look at that. Okay, so assignments, again, look at this, 10, 30, whatever. So again, I'm going to pause the video just to populate this. So, but it's pretty easy. You just highlight this, 10, important assignments. Oh, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, you're like, why? I don't want to have it that there. I'll show you. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Actually, assignments, not 10. Attendance is 10. Yeah, because you'll notice that there's some things that we have here that we don't want to have. Well, I'll show you about how to do that in just a second. So we'll 30. And then hold on. Okay, so um, these are the uh, ones I did. So I've gone ahead and done that. And notice, please have the total equal 100. Yeah, that that shows you right there. But I've got some stuff here. What? What's going on here? What? Are, why are these even here? Okay. First of all, I'm going to save what I have. Okay. Oh, it doesn't like that. I'm going to put a zero there. Oh. Now I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now it set up these, um, and actually if you look right there, it shows you the percentage of the total. Oh, how cool is that? But now I've got all these other things here. I've got these important assignments, and I've got this general assignment thing. Now, I'm not going to use this one right here. I mean, I could have, but I just called it quizzes and assignments, and I wanted it to match the rubric. So I'm just going to go click on my three dots here and say, bye, see ya. Woo! Yep, it's gone. Now, some of these assignments, you know, are stuff that was imported over and you're like, okay, but yeah, these should go in one of these categories down here. It's like, yes, they should. Okay. So uh, let's say the summary of critique and peer review form. Okay. Let's say that goes into quiz and assignments. Well, I can just, I think there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can go to move to, okay. And we want to go to move that to quizzes and assignments. And then we hit move. Boom. And then all of a sudden, look, oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. I'm going to move all these imported assignments into what category they should be in. Okay. All righty. So I moved most of the stuff into the creative, the, the, the areas they should be. Now, right here, the conference with Professor Mark. So what, for whatever reason, whenever copied it over, I'm not Professor Marks, and I don't play him on TV. He's a great individual. Okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to the creative presentation. So what I can do is I can hit it. Because if you ever want to change the name of this, update it, you can just click on the three dots of the particular assignment, hit edit, and then let's call this uh, create creative. Oh boy. Present 
dissertation. Yes, I am an associate professor of English. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'm going to want to move that to, I'm going to move that to our creative presentations. Okay. Now, again, these assignments themselves need to be, you know, worked on, you know, they need to like have the correct dates and make sure the points are what they should be. But right now we're just kind of putting them in the correct categories and we're also helping our set up our, our gray book. So now I've got everything out of the imported assignments. Um, so I don't need that one anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that bad boy. Boop. Do I want to get rid of this? Yes, I do. Okay. Now for attendance, I can't show you how to do that right here because that is, um, it, it's a whole different thing. There'll be a different video that explains how to um, set up attendance and how it works with your gradebook. But now I've got my, my gradebook set up the way that it should be. And I've got the things where it should be now. So then um, I, how I can check that is when I go to grades. Okay. Um, it's actually got it written. It's in order here. Okay. So I've got the creative presentations, writing project two, one, two, and three, quizzes and assignments, whatever. If they're not in the order you want them to be in, so what you can always do is go back to assignments, okay? And you're like, oh, actually, this one right here should go before that one. Well, you can just simply just drag and drop it and make it go above it, okay? Or if you want to have attendance be at the end, you could just take this whole category and move it to the very bottom. Okay, so then when you go to the gradebook, you'll notice now that attendance is the last thing. Okay, so that's just kind of how you manipulate the um, the gradebook. And again, I would strongly encourage you to do this first. Um, set up your weightings first, because um, as you're working on assignments, you have to, it has to go somewhere, and it will just save you a step later on. Um, as far as where the stuff goes. Alrighty, and there you go. Alright, thanks so much.